contemporary artist Abi Akpi shows us Seifa, his first solo exhibition of paintings and wood panels at the National Museum in Lagos. <laughs> Contemporary artist Ebi Akwe is no stranger to exhibitions, but this is the first time he's having the room to himself to reveal the influences in his art practice and how it has grown to the images seen in this hall at the National Museum. I love strokes, I love colors. They make me feel happy from inside, and then they make me feel good. So if you see my work, you tell that there are 10, 15 colors in a can on a canvas. You have to look at it very well though. And that's what keeps, that's what keeps me going, that's what gives me the drive, you know. I call him grandfather, Ella Nasui. He's someone I, I look up to. I, I see his work all over the world and that inspired me in several ways. And painting also by Samu Raiti, Gunajo. These are gentlemen that have worked so hard, so I'm inspired to just do my own work. Titled Seyefa, the exhibition reveals the collection of pieces done by Mr. Akwe in his over seven year career. Paintings and wood panels is what he is showing his audience, and his inspiration lands in his homeland. Seyefa is um, an Ijo language. For a while, I've been going to the village and um, I hear people say Seyefa, Seyefa. And Saifa, it's like, um, in English, it means nothing spoiled, or it is well, so to say. And, um, and that stuck in my head for a while, because you see these people going through so much pain and differences, and they still tell you Saifa. And I just said to myself, this one must be really enjoying a lot, you know, in all this hardship and they still persist and for their head that look, it is well, you know. So that's, that just stuck in my head. And since I've been working, I just had it in my head that the title of my exhibition will be Saifa. Personally, I see him as somebody who is close to his home because it, in this exhibition, he also tries to, you know, um, say one or two things about Bayelsa, where he's from, the situation there, social conditions, I mean, of, of the people there who are living in areas that are polluted by crude oil because of um, oil company activities and all of that. And of course, the environment being degra uh, degraded so much, the people sometimes take to apathy, especially their youth, in trying to, you know, um, protest and gain the attention of the government. And we, real we remember not long ago when there was um, Operation Python Dance in the East, and of course that also touched a bit of uh, the Niger Delta areas, especially where Ebi is from. So he's applauding those who are not taking to apathy in trying to survive or make a better living, but at the same time drawing attention of the government to all these social issues. The environmental conditions in Bielsa State bother him enough to pour his heart out on his acrylic on canvas. It's depicted in 22 works of art, 12 paintings, and 10 works of etching on wood panels. Wood is something I, I, I've loved all my life, you know. So 
working with wood is nothing strange to me. It's just been an inspiration to me, working with wood. Sweet December 1 and 2. Sage's Delight 1 and 2. The Guardian and Free Minds are just a few of the pieces this artist has displayed in his exhibition. The creator is, um, as a human being, sometimes you just sit back and think, that, how did I get to this world? Yes, you have your father and mother, but at the same time, there's something that actually made it happen, which is something you and I don't see. You know, you know your, the dad and the mom gets together, but it goes beyond that. So I just thought about it and I just felt, okay, let me just think about the spiritual aspect of it. And that, that brought about um, the creator. He's an artist who, you know, um, work with inspiration. And um, wherever his inspiration leads him, you know, the, the intention counts for him. No matter the medium too, he does not cut corners. So yes, to work as a painter as, uh, and as well, other uh, medium like wood, also means he's not cutting corners, something that is more you know, laborious, so long as it helps him achieve his aim. So I find what he's doing very interesting. The works are very solid, you would say, and um, they are quite intricate, especially his woodworks. The works I see here are so excellent. I mean, more excellent than some works of even people who, who practice art on a daily basis, you know, who have, you know, uh, standard studios that, and, um, and they paint, you know, they've been painting for, for about a decade or so. You know, so I'm really very impressed, really, really very impressed with the, the standard of the work, the, 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 the manipulation of, of the colors. You know, and um, the professional use of, of the media. A.B. Akwe is a self-taught artist and a marketing graduate from the University of Maryland. A lot of first on today's episode. We'll be changing gears next week, but let's quickly reveal our artists for this week. Then we'll tell you what to expect on the next episode of Art House. Coming soon on the program. The Ant Hill Gallery adds to the numbers of art houses on the mainland with this debut exhibition. It's supposed to evoke uh, a discussion about the transportation in Nigeria. The length and breadth of this country, not just Lagos. Lagos is uh, the epitome of uh, the transportation challenges. But everywhere you go in Nigeria, there is a transportation problem or challenge which needs to be addressed through a national transportation policy. Plus, the Lagos Photo Festival comes to town again. We'll see what the African lens captured this time. What we've come up with at the, um, at the end of the day was something to really, really push the photography um, and also enhance the work of the, of the photographers showing. That and more on the next edition of Art House. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. So we're having more galleries coming to the mainland, the more the merrier. And the Lagos Photo Fiesta is coming to town as well. So much to look forward to in the art scene in October. We draw the curtain on this week's edition, but do remember that you can hit me up online on any of our platforms. And you can view this and any other edition of Art House on our YouTube page as well. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a great time.